Silicon Photonics, of course, has matured over the last couple of years to the point where we've sort of reached an inflection point that as the need for generative AI is growing in terms of the need for data, data rates, lower power, silicon photonics is sort of that ideal technology that's able to do all of these functions together in one technology. And it is an investment that GF has made for several years, which is now coming to fruition. So in terms of the need for higher bandwidth, going from 100 gig to 200 gig, and now to 400 gig, uh, these are technologies that GF has enabled and was showcased at the GTS event this year. Data centers, they are sort of being bifurcated into two types of networks. There's certainly the scale out, which has sort of been the traditional, you know, switch, uh, you know, rack to switch application. But then as these generative AI models are becoming more and more complex and larger, the scale up networks are now coming into fruition. And there's a lot of work that GF has done in terms of scale out to go to higher and higher data rates. But then for scale up, uh, there's been a lot of emphasis from GF on developing structures such as microring modulators. We've sort of been leading this, this sort of device and, and it's come to fruition where we are now being able to display you know, multi-lambda, going up to about 16 lambda uh, dense wave division multiplexing circuits that are available for our customers to implement these networks. With. And, and again, it's, it's a combination of circuit design on the photonic side, but then also on the technology. There are technologies such as you know, more efficient heater controls, uh, you know, con process control of the rings themselves, given the fact that they are fairly small structures and to be able to produce these in volume, you know, with very, you know, low variability across you know, 300 millimeter wafers. There's a lot of investments that GF has made, both, both on the IP side, but then also on the device side. As we've seen sort of silicon photonics being adopted across the industry, we're expecting to make significant investments, not only in our fab in Malta, but also we've announced this advanced photonics and packaging center uh, associated with our fab aid facility, where we are again making uh, significant capex investments to onshore advanced packaging capabilities, such as bumping, such as through silicon via reveal, die stacking, detachable fiber attached solutions. So again, these things don't happen naturally. There's, there's certainly a concerted effort that GF has made doubling down on a technology that we feel is the technology, not only it was of tomorrow, but it is here today.